Welcome to the PTZ Optics Outdoor Camera Enclosure Installation Video. This video is part two of our outdoor PTZ camera enclosure series. Please refer to part one of this video series and the camera enclosure manual to learn more about how to properly install PTZ Optics cameras into an outdoor camera enclosure. Note, PTZ Optics is not responsible for the improper mounting of this enclosure. We highly recommend working with an insured professional audiovisual integrator to properly mount this enclosure. For outdoor PTZ camera installations, we highly recommend the PTZO HB from DotWorks. The HB in the enclosure part number stands for heater blower, and this device will help prevent fog and condensation that can build up on the enclosure lens. When you are planning to mount the enclosure to an outdoor surface, it's important to mount the enclosure 100% vertical so that when the camera's panning left or panning right, you end up with a level horizon. Mounting the camera enclosure on a vertical surface makes sure there are no discrepancies between left and right camera panning operations. With a project like this, it's always best to start with a site survey. If you are working with a professional audiovisual integrator, take plenty of pictures to share with them exactly where you would like the enclosure mounted. Note, the PTZO-HB enclosure does require power for operation. You should consult a licensed electrician to connect power to this enclosure. Once your site survey is complete, you can review the included hardware with the enclosure. Professional installation teams will start by drilling any holes required for cable paths to your video production hardware. This could include holes for passing through SDI, Ethernet, RS-232, or RS-485 cabling to your press box or video production control room. Remember that all cabling will need to be unterminated before passing through the weather tight holes on the side of each enclosure. Once the cables have made their way through to the inside of your enclosure, you can terminate the ends for a proper camera connection. Next, you can connect your enclosure to the surface with the included hardware. For hard surfaces, we suggest using anchors with the included toggle bolts. Once your enclosure has been securely mounted to your vertical surface, you can run your cables through the weather-tight conduit feeds. You will notice on the side of each unit that there are two weather-tight cable paths you can use to extend Ethernet, SDI, and other cabling through to your camera. Once you have decided which cables you want to bring into your enclosure, you can start by pulling the wires through the weather-tight port. Once the raw cables are inside your enclosure, you can terminate the cables and add the connection ends. To ensure an airtight seal, consider using caulk around the wires and cables, coating the entire plug surface with sealant. Next, you can mount your PTZ Optics camera to the black camera bracket using the center hole with the included quarter 20 screw and a single washer. Next, you can mount your camera to the attached camera brackets inside the enclosure with the set screws that you've laid out. Once your camera is firmly mounted inside the enclosure, you can connect the cables you have into your camera. Before closing the enclosure, make sure everything is working properly. Once you've confirmed all the cabling is working, you can close your enclosure using a Phillips head screwdriver or an electric drill. Warning, carefully read through the entire DotWorks manual to ensure that you have been taking all steps of the installation process into account. This video is only intended to guide experts who have already read through the included manual. You can learn more about PTZ Optics cameras and outdoor camera installation options in the links below. Please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel to learn more about how you can increase what's possible with live streaming and video production.